everybody, it's Kara. Um, please ignore my lack of makeup. It's Saturday and I don't really have anywhere to be. So um, basically this video is gonna be me attempting to kind of do like a revamp of my living room wall. Um, I've been watching a ton of TikToks of people doing like renter friendly hacks. I know that I saw um, Magic with Meg do one of her wall like she did a peel and stick wallpaper i think and then she painted on it like a mural which i really would like to do but i think i want to try this just regular wallpaper first um uh, the brand that i'm looking for is called roommates and i've already like picked out like a design that i like hopefully it's supposed to be in stock at the walmart near me so i'm gonna go try um this one girl that i watch who is like really honest about reviewing these products and like making sure that they don't peel paint off the wall and stuff. Apparently, I'll, I can't remember what her name is, but I'll link it in the description. But she, Roommates is like one of her favorite brands. So um, that's the one that I'm gonna try. I am a little bit nervous because she said that if your paint is really cheap, it could still pull the paint off the wall. And I don't know if I really trust my complex to not be using cheap paint because I do feel like they go the cheap route on some other things. Um, but I'm not 100%, but I want to try it because I feel like worst case scenario, they're just going to keep my deposit when I eventually move out, which I don't even know. I mean, I plan to be here for a while. So if they keep my deposit, whatever, I'm kind of expecting them to do that anyway. <laughs> so yeah, or, you know, maybe I could try to fix some of the paint if it peels off. Anyways, let me show you what my living room looks like at the moment. Okay, so this is what my living room looks like right now, or this side of my living room. And I like it. I really do. I spend a lot of time putting up the vines. Um, but I want something different, I think. Just something a little bit more classy, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so my plan is to take down all the vines take down these pictures um, and then put up the peel and stick wallpaper that I have already picked out from Walmart. I just need to go get it. Um, and then potentially, I don't know because the wallpaper might be a little bit too busy. Um, but if it's not, if I think it will look good, I was thinking about moving this picture over there and getting two other ones from the same shop um, of like different uh like different rides or like areas of the parks um because they have different things like they have a jungle cruise one that i liked that would match this and i think like a haunted mansion potentially or um i can't remember what the other one was that i had seen that i thought would work but anyway and moving those over to the wall and having like the three of them somehow over here like behind the couch or something so anyways that's my thoughts but i'm gonna head to walmart and see if i can find the peel and stick wallpaper it's hopefully it says that it's in stock so hopefully it's there and i can grab it so yeah So I was able to get two rolls. Um, I didn't measure my wall exactly because I just, you know, like to live life on the edge. But according to the back here, I would guess that my wall um, is more in like this range. So I'm guessing it will probably only take two. But if it takes more than that, then I'll either just have to order another roll online or maybe look at to see if they had them at any other Walmarts around here. Maybe they have it up um, near where my boyfriend lives and he could pick one up for me. But yeah, so I got two rolls. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it will go with this picture or not. 
um like this picture looks good in the room but i don't know if it will because the green is really muted if it will look good like up against this wallpaper but again that's okay because it might be too busy for like a picture so i don't know but the first step is to take down all of these vines from the pictures which shouldn't take too long i just had to take down the little command hooks that the vines are held up with i think i was gonna maybe watch obi-wan kenobi while i did this but it's the last episode so i really want to focus on it so i actually think i might start the new season of umbrella academy well I take the vines down. Okay, it looks really naked in here. And I'm getting nervous about the paint again. Who? <laughs> they suggest to do like a test, but I don't, I'm impatient. I don't know. I might do some Googling about how to tell like what type of paint you have. I don't know. And then I need to wipe down the wall. And then I might do like a strip first and leave it on for like a like half an hour, an hour and try to peel it off and see how it goes. I don't know. Okay, so my phone died. Um, but I wiped down the walls with a sponge. I'm just gonna let them air dry. They should dry pretty quick because the paint is matte. Therefore, I do think it is flat paint. Um, I don't think the kitchen is, and I don't think my bathroom is either, but the living room, based on what I looked up, I think it is flat paint. So I might have trouble removing the wallpaper. However, I think I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> like I said, I feel like they would come up with an excuse to keep my deposit anyway. And maybe I can try to cover it up. I mean, they paint these walls before people move back in anyway. So, <sighs> but you know, any excuse to keep the deposit. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Charge my phone for a little bit. Let the wall dry. And then I think I'm just going to do it. Okay, I think the wall is pretty dry. I'm sure you can't tell. I put my hair back. Let's do it. So this is one roll. Um, 
I'm definitely gonna need more than two. <laughs> and it was kind of hard to get it lined up in some spots. Actually on camera, it does, I feel like you can kind of tell, but maybe it's just because, I don't know, it's like half of a roll there, but in person, it's fairly seamless. Like you can't really tell where the lines are. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect at the top, but I think I'll be able to use some like little extra strips after I get another roll. So yeah. This is what I have so far. You can see it down there. And I uh, got it around the outlet pretty well, which is kind of just a practice because that outlet is uh, hidden anyway behind the couch. So yeah, I still have the majority of a roll left. So I'm gonna do what I can and then figure out if I wanna run out to get more. I'll probably wait until tomorrow. I could order it online, but I don't really want to do that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a break for a second and then I'm going to do the rest and then I will show you what I get done. Okay, so that was two rolls. I just have that little bit left and I feel like those last two strips, I was like really getting the hang of it. So I'm <laughs> upset that I have to stop and I'm seriously considering running out to the other Walmart and trying to get it to finish it tonight, Ugh, but I don't know. I probably should just like rest and go back out and do it tomorrow. I don't know. I also need to fix up the top. You can't tell too much really, but it's pretty uneven up there. I need to just touch it up a little bit. And then there's that little strip on the side because I could not get the corner. Like I thought that it would be easy. I struggled with the corner for like 20 minutes before I just decided to start in the middle. Um, so I need to like fix up the corner now. But yeah, that's what I got done. If I go out back out and get it tonight, uh, I'll update. <laughs> okay, so this is the progress. I'm honestly loving it. I'm really excited. Um, I cleaned up the top a little bit. It's not like 100% seamless up there, but the wallpaper is so busy. You can't really tell unless you're like really looking for it and it doesn't really bother me that much. So don't have a problem with that. Just need to finish this area and like a little bit down here. Um, and then that's little strip over there. And then that will be it. I've decided that I'm not gonna go out to the other Walmart tonight because it's actually in kind of a bad area and it's already 10 o'clock. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just going to go get it tomorrow. I could order it online, but it wouldn't get here until Wednesday. Um, and I'm impatient, like I said. And also I have friends coming into town on Thursday. So I want to get it done plenty of time before they get here um, for the Dreamcatcher concert. So, yep, that's my progress for tonight. I'm going to clean all of this up and push my couch back for now and then continue tomorrow. Okay, so it is now actually Wednesday. Um, the last that I filmed was Saturday night. Um, the final roll has arrived, so I can now finish the wall. I realize that I am once again not wearing makeup. I don't know how I managed to always film on the days that I'm not wearing makeup, but it was splash day at work, and I wasn't going to wear makeup when we were playing in the water with the children. So, um... This may be a normal appearance. I don't know, just get used to it. The roll has arrived. I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna finish the wall. Yay! Also my cat is not here right now because I'm house sitting for my dad. Um, I have like three vlogs going on simultaneously right now. I have this one. Um, I don't know if this really counts as a vlog. I guess it kind of is. Um, and then I just started a reading vlog, which I'm not doing very well on considering the BTS Island game came out and I can't stop playing it. 
And then I also am gonna start a vlog for the Dreamcatcher concert starting probably Friday morning when I go to pick up my friend from the airport. So I'm not really sure what order these vlogs are gonna come out, but um, just know that they're all kind of intertwined. So my cat is not here because I'm staying at my dad's, which I mentioned in the reading vlog, um, to watch his dog while he's on vacation. So I just got to my apartment. I haven't been here in a few days. And I was super confused when I came in and my cat didn't come running to the door. And then I was like, oh yeah, um, she's at my mom's. So anyways, let's finish the wall. Okay, so I finished it. It honestly looks great, even though it's not completely uh, lined up all the way. It's just like so busy that it's not super noticeable. There are a few spots that I, it like really draws my eye a little bit, but I think it's not gonna be too bad. Um, the worst part is right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it still wasn't quite enough. And I just don't have it in me to go back to the store and get more. Um, I kind of, I should actually measure this spot, um, you know, since that was my issue the first time with not measuring the wall and see if I can get like the sample piece and just put it there. The only problem is I do still have this kind of strip on the side here that needs to be filled in. So I think I am just going to have to get another a whole other role but that's okay I think I'm probably just gonna leave it like this for now because I have friends coming into town this weekend and I think it will be fine um my plant is right goes there and this chair and kind of um this side table so it's not gonna be super noticeable from the front I, the only way, time that you're gonna really see it is when you're like walking down the hallway Ooh, that's my plan um you'll be able to kind of tell but it looks great honestly it really does um I am going to put my furniture back to get like the full view of what it's gonna look like and then I will give you guys my final thoughts about this product and this process Okay, so I put the furniture back. I really love it. Like, I honestly do. I think it looks so good. It's exactly what I was going for. But this square is so noticeable. I hate it. And I'm really tempted. And I know I probably shouldn't. But I'm really tempted to pull this couch back out and take a square from behind the couch to put over there. It's gonna be pretty patchworked over here, but I figure if I, you know, it's removable wallpaper. It's not, you know, like here, it's pretty noticeable, like right here. Um, but only if you're looking for it, which of course I am. But you know, if I eventually get another roll, I could just redo that area um all together and then patch the spot behind the couch yeah i think i'm gonna do that I did it. <laughs> I did it. It looks way better. I'm sorry. Like, come on. Can you even tell where I patched it? 
probably, but it's fine. I, I it looks great. I'm actually like so stoked. Um, I took the patch from the first row because um, it was just the easiest. If you look down here, you can see where I did it. But um, maybe eventually I'll fix that. I don't ever plan to move this couch. Like I don't know how else I would arrange uh, my living room. Let's see, I'll show you. Um, I'm pretty content with where it is. So I don't plan to move it. I, I do need to fix that side eventually. So I guess I probably will patch that when I get some more to fix the side there. But guys, I, I really love it. Like honestly, the kind of obsessed. So this is my first time using any kind of peel and stick wallpaper. Um, I keep getting like TikToks about it, so I really wanted to try it. Um, but I was nervous because I've seen a lot of them say that if you have, um, what are they calling it, flat paint, that it might still peel off of the walls. Um, which uh, after some Googling, I do think that I have flat paint, which apparently is pretty common in apartments that, and especially like cheaper apartments or apartments whose, uh, landlords are, landlords are a little bit cheap, which my apartment is a really good price for what it is. So I'm not complaining too much. Um, but when I got home today, I mean, this has been up since Saturday. It is Wednesday night, um, and I peeled some of it down to see, and it no, no paint came up. So I'm pretty optimistic that it will come down just fine when I eventually do take it down. This is Roommates brand. Um, it, I did some research. It was recommended. Um, let me show you the paper. Okay, I can't find the paper that had the logo on it, but it's called Roommates. Um, I realized that this one had instructions. Hanging it helps out two people. Yeah, well, only if you're a quitter. But no, seriously, if I was putting up like real wallpaper, like permanent wallpaper, I definitely would have uh, been a little bit more meticulous about it. Um, but I mean, I can take it down at any time. I could fix it if I really wanted to. Um, but it's, it's pretty good. You can, I mean, the only patches that I feel like you can really see are like this seam right here. Um, and then the ones at the top that I didn't really bother to line up. But it, I just feel like if you're not looking for it, you're not going to see it. And I feel like this whole section here is like seamless and it's really not but it looks seamless like i just think the pattern is busy enough that you can't really tell um so yeah i definitely if you're getting a pattern that's not quite as busy you definitely probably should get someone to help you um make it even <laughs> and but yeah, I'm really satisfied with it for the price, for what it was. The, I mean, it's really nice. Like, it feels like wallpaper. Like, it really does. Um, it was super easy to cut to get, like, clean lines of the cut. I would recommend using, like, a ruler or something. But, like, here, let me show you this corner. So, I, when I was applying it, I, like, wrapped this around the corner. And then I used, like, a little X-Acto knife to cut this corner. And, like, look how nice... Like it's, yeah, it cuts really nice and really easily. Uh, but because of that, it could also, once it's cut, it will rip easily as well. So just be aware of that. Um, also, I have that like smoother tool, this thing that I got. Um, and this was great, it really helped. But I do recommend also using your hands to feel where the bubbles are. Sometimes my hands worked. And then I would use that tool over it to like really flatten it out. But there is a spot somewhere, yeah, right here, where I got a little bit too intense with the smoother. So just be wary of that. Um, thankfully, it's like back behind there, so you can't really see it. But yeah, I honestly am obsessed with my living room. 
I have been. <laughs> I love my apartment. I love my space. Um, but I, yeah, I'm super happy with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang this over there or not because I don't think it's real. I don't think it really matches. Actually, here, let me pull it off because this is, it's hung by command strips. Okay, let's see what it will look like. And then I got like two more to hang here. I don't know. I don't know. It might look good actually. I might do that. I'm not going to do it before this weekend though. But I might consider doing that. Which would work out for me because I eventually want to get another bookshelf. Like another big um, bookshelf. And put it there like in the corner so it's like it creates a corner that makes sense so it's like this um so i would have had to take this down eventually but i don't know i might consider moving it over there and getting the other two um we'll see but for now i think i'm just gonna leave it like this maybe i'll up you update you guys in another vlog if i decide to hang things over there but it's just really busy so it doesn't really need anything maybe uh this wall is next maybe i need some some sunflowers over here who knows we'll see but yeah i'm super happy with it um if you have any questions about the material where i got it off of or i got it from walmart and then i got the last roll off of amazon so it was available there roommates peel and stick wallpaper i think they have some other products too but yeah i'm really happy with it um, I guess if I ever move out and I take it down, you guys will have to watch that vlog see if it, uh, pulls up. Okay. But I think it will, like I said, it's been up for several days and it's come off fine. Okay. Don't, don't put in the comments if you think it's not going to be fine. Like I, I don't want to know. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. Like I said, a million times. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.